Hello everybody, it's Janine here and this week I'm going to be doing some Zen dangles with you, basically some doodling. Anyway, this is the paper that I'm going to be using, this mixed media paper, but we're not going to be adding any water so feel free to use what paper you like. Um, and here I'm using a light switch cover to do some, um, to get some right angles, but feel free to use a ruler. Um, and now I'm going over those with a fine liner. And um, now I'm going to add in a positive word um, and I'm going to use the word peace um, and I'm using a pencil to do that just to get my lettering how I would like um, and now I'm going to go over it with a blue fine liner um, but feel free to use whatever word you'd like and um, um, whatever colour you'd like and equally if you don't want to do a word you can still carry on and do some zen dangles. Now I'm just going to go in and embellish my um, right angle bits um, a little bit doing some like doodling in there just to add some details. Um, by all means you know you don't have to do these right angles I just decided to place um, mine um, in the middle of some right angles it creates like a frame but um, you could just do the word if you wanted to. Um, and now I'm going in there and starting to add some of my dangles. Um, so dangles are basically just um, like lines and you kind of add like little maybe like beads or <laughs> different dangly bits of them. Sorry it's difficult to see from the camera angle what I'm doing but I move my hand periodically so you can see. Um, so yeah I'm just doing my dangles I'm hanging off um, the word piece um, but if you um, didn't feel like you wanted to do a word you could just um, draw a line with a ruler and do some dangles off of the line but I think it's quite nice to go in there with a nice positive word and get us into um, thinking positively and doing some nice uh, calming doodling. I have another Zen dangles video so I'll try and remember to So the dangles can be all kinds of things like I've done a heart there, um, I've done some swirls, um, little kind of dots as like beads um, I think you'll see I'm doing a star coming up soon, yeah, there, and I've done some little, like, dangly bits coming off the star with some little kind of dotty sort of beads, and now I'm just going in and embellishing um, the corner on, on this side. Now, I've chosen to keep to a very limited colour palette, and I'm using um, a black and blue fine liners, and I think that colour combination works quite well. Um, I chose blue because I find it quite a nice peaceful colour, but um, you know, use use whatever colours you'd like. Um, and if you're doing a different word, you may feel that um, other colours are more appropriate to that word. So, you know, this is just to give you some ideas. Um, and uh, on the um, ideas front, um, I thought I'd think of some other like positive words that you may want to do. Um, maybe you could do hope, um, joy, um, happiness, faith, belief. Um, there's lots of different um, words you could do, uh, there's just a few there to get you thinking. And uh, try not to worry about your handwriting, um, I don't really like my handwriting but you know this is just um, not for anything important, it's just a nice relaxing process so try and um, treat, treat it like that and just enjoy the process but um, if the writing really does worry you, you know as I said you don't even need to do a word. But if you want to, you could um, type a word and print it off and you can choose whatever font you'd like. Um, and if you're just using fine liners, that would work fine on printer paper. But nowadays some printers will take thicker, but as I say, this would work fine on printer paper. Zentangles are quite similar to Zentangle. I have lots of Zentangle videos on my YouTube channel and um, Zentangle and Zendangles would work nicely together. So do check those out and you could expand on them with some Zen dangles as, as well. I'm doing a nature inspired dangle there. The main idea of this video is for you to just relax and enjoy the process. Um, but if you do feel like you really like what you've done, then, you know, by all means, you know, you can put it in a frame. But, um, or, you know, keep it somewhere. But I encourage everybody to keep their artwork and not to throw it away. Because often when people look back at it on reflection, um, you know they could really hate something initially and not like it and then when they look back at it a few weeks later they can really see something in it so I encourage you to you know keep it somewhere tuck it away in a book you know um, enjoy that and look back at it 
in future because you may see it in a different light. And don't put pressure on yourself thinking, you know, this has to go in a frame and this has to be an amazing piece of art because, um, yeah, the main idea is to just relax. I can't stress that enough. So, yeah, please do relax and enjoy the process. And here I've decided to use a Sharpie and to go over my word to make it thicker because I thought um, that would look, um, look better. But, you know, it's up to you, however you prefer to do it. And now I'm just rubbing out my pencil lines. I normally encourage people not to use rubbers as rubbers are normally about rubbing out mistakes and I feel like we should embrace our mistakes as you'll have heard me talk about in my other videos. Um, but for this it's part of the process so I will let you use a rubber in this if you feel that um, pencil helps as beginning in initially. And here is the final piece. I hope you've enjoyed doodling along with me some positive words um, and I hope that you've enjoyed the video um, and please do like it and um, subscribe. Thanks for watching, bye for now.